Hi friends, welcome to the channel Datum for your update. As part of the clinical series for healthcare workers, here we comes with our second video, different types of oxygen therapy, a practical approach. Please watch the video. If you like it, please subscribe the channel. Hello friends, once again welcome back to our video. Today we will discuss about the different oxygen delivery devices used in our hospital okay so the oxygen delivery devices is this two type basically low flow oxygen delivery devices and high flow oxygen delivery devices we will discuss both low flow and high flow in detail okay first of all the basic low flow oxygen device what we use is the nasal prongs how a nasal prongs looks like this is the nasal prongs you can see like this this nasal prongs connected to patients nostrils and is connected to our central flow meter so how much F spo2 can attain with or how much fio2 we can deliver using a nasal prong is our question okay. so nasal prong is mainly used with a, an oxygen delivery of 2 to 6 liter per minute so that the patient necessary spo2 is attained so more than 6 liter per minute cannot be given through a nasal prongs okay Anyway, it's the first uh, and the simplest uh, mode of oxygen delivery device, that low flow oxygen delivery device. The second thing that we use is mask, normal mask. Normal mask, as you all of know, this is the normal mask. This normal mask has some exit poles here, some airway here, okay. So that once the oxygen comes through these tubes, air is taken from this side so a mixture of air and oxygen is created in this space in our mask okay mix of air and oxygen is created in front of the nose okay this is oxygen mask the next step is venturi mask venturi mask the difference is here we can precisely uh, say uh, we can precisely find out the fao2 that delivers a venturi mask a venturi mask consists of as like usual a tube with this is the venturi mask mask okay this venturi mask is connected with this extension okay. so this is the venturi devices but usually they were uses here there are different types of venturi masks depending upon the flow of oxygen the fio2 is maintained you can see in each venturi device little like 8 liter per minute 35 percentage that means if you are delivering oxygen at 8 liter per minute it will provide at a FIO2 of 35 percentage just like that different uh, venturi devices are there just like 15 liter per minute ensuring 60 percentage of FIO2 2 liter per minute oxygen ensuring 24 percentage of FIO2 uh, 6 liter per minute ensuring uh, 31 percentage of FIO2 so here using venturi mask we can assure precisely uh, a described amount of FIO2 that is the use of a venturi mask another most important one is NRBM non rebreathing mask non rebreathing mask consists of a mask is there as, us as usual I said along with that and one reservoir is there this reservoir here, here you can see one pot here you are going to connect the oxygen tube okay once you connect the oxygen tube the oxygen will fill in this reservoir after that once patient inspires this is a single side valve so that the oxygen will comes from this reservoir to the patient and while the patient expires the expiratory air goes through these holes and this is another single way valve okay so inspiratory oxygen comes from this reservoir and expiratory air goes through this expiratory holes so at least around 80 to 90 percent of fao2 can be maintained using nrba mask yes. these are the low volume devices what we use 
So how to connect this NRBM to uh, oxygen flowmeter? I will show you. This is a flowmeter what you see here. Okay. The first and foremost thing we should be careful is the flowmeter with a should be connected to a humidifier. That humidifier should con should contain should have adequate amount of sterile water to humidify the oxygen coming from the wall wall mount. So once you have enough sterile water in the humidifier, you will connect the tube to the flow meter here and open the oxygen full and then first close this wall. Then only this bag will full. Okay. Open full and close this wall. Now it is full. Okay. Now once the patient is in space, the oxygen comes from this bag and when patient expires, the air goes through these walls. So ensure be just careful that before giving a starting an anorbia mask, just to close this wall and fill this reservoir first. And the most important thing is, as I already told, the patient takes oxygen from this mask. So you know, uh, normally a patient having, uh, taking a tidal volume of around 500, and having a breath rate of 28 to 30 per minute, definitely he may need 15 liter per uh, minute of oxygen. So depending upon that, we should give the oxygen here because whatever oxygen you are giving from the uh, flow meter, only patient is getting. Otherwise, patient will start to breathe his own expiratory air. So using NRBM, high amount of oxygen is should be given through a flow meter then only necessary oxygen will, will get from the reservoir okay so so far what discussed is uh, the low flow oxygen devices now we will discuss one of our major uh, high flow oxygen device as I, uh, we previously discussed about hfno high flow ox uh, nasal oxygen that link you will get from the description you go through this and uh, go through that and find out how to use a uh, hfno and all here we will discuss about a cpap after HFNO, if the, still the patient is not maintaining saturation with the high flow nasal oxygen, we will go to uh, uh, non-invasive uh, ventilation or non-invasive CPAP ventilation. So how we will uh, first we will see how to connect uh, CPAP with our Vela ventilator. Okay, Here, this is our ventilator. As I already told, uh, we have uh, an oxygen port here. This oxygen port connects with the uh, wall oxygen. And next thing is the power. Give the power. And here you can see one on of uh, on button. Make it on. Now it will alarm until the screen appears. Once the screen comes, just salam island. Now you can see this patient with all the ventilator is already in a volume messy mode. How to change the world mode is uh, accept patient now the click on this area this volume SV mode then click here on CPAP PSP mode accept now the mode is changed into CPAP now we will see how to connect a CPAP uh, tube to our CPAP this is the CPAP mask and the tube we are using here with the, our ventilator this is actually a biport mask not a single hole it's actually biport so it has an inspiratory side and expiratory side. You can see, just be careful that there is two valves. This is inspiratory valve. Inside you can see that this valve is opening this inside. That means if air goes through this side, it will allow it to go inside. If you are connecting the, here, here you can another valve, this expiratory valve. If you are connected opposite, then both the valve will be closed. I will show you what happens when you are connected off. First I will inflate this uh, mask because by default, it is deflated. Take air, take air, and inflate your mask. Okay, this is the way to inflate your mask. Now it is inflated. Now, just see how to connect. The inspiratory supposed to be connected like this, and expiratory like this, and ensure this inspiratory tube. This goes directly towards to patient port that is inspiratory port. Okay, 
on this expiratory side directly to the expiratory area okay now you can see this started to work see the mask is also working you can clearly see the how the valves moving inside suppose if you are connecting okay suppose if you are connecting in opposite side the expiratory cycle to inspiratory and it is opposite side means you can see circuit occlusion circuit occlusion this will come okay so be careful that you are connecting inspiratory cycle to the inspiratory port and expiratory port of the mask to the expiratory port of the cycle then only it will work proper otherwise it will show that uh, circuit exclusion okay so to avoid this confusion better better to do remove this mask both mask both uh, remove both the valves now no, there is no issue because if you are accidentally uh, connecting to the uh, opposite uh, ports it will not have any issue because there is no valves now okay so better to remove the valves otherwise properly see that the the port that is just in front of your nose goes to the inspiratory port and in front of the mouth goes to the expiratory port okay and uh, other uh, alarms but usually comes in the uh, vela ventilator when you are using a cpap mode of ventilation is this is circuit disconnection because it is open so it is circuit disconnection if i close it like that that will be gone now is low ve because i am not breathing there is no expiratory volume that is why low ve is coming another one is if i have removed the oxygen and given this one it will show as low low oxygen inlet okay low oxygen inlet will come if the oxygen port is not properly connected if you didn't connect this port properly to the valve mount oxygen it will show as low oxygen inlet okay so circuit occlusion because of this uh, valves issue and uh, circuit disconnection you can see a you know, low o2 inlet o2 inlet low this is because that i, I didn't connect this oxygen to the valve mask or pro not properly connected circuit occlusion circuit disconnect then low ve and low peep as i didn't connect to the patient if i connect the patient these two things will be gone but low in inlet o will be o2 will be there because i didn't connect with the oxygen so these are the basic things about a cpap uh, uh, mode of ventilation while we are practically uh, seeing the things okay and so far we discussed both uh, the low flow devices and high flow devices okay this video is aimed for you to to your practical side to uh, get uh, to get a uh, better output while your patient care okay thanks